Oh, okay. Okay. What's going on, guys? Let's see. It's like a better light over here. I don't know. But what is going on, guys? Ali here back again with another video for you guys for the Thousand Year Blood War. I'm, I'm getting giggly, giggly, giggly because of, like... This episode was fire. Like, I loved every single fucking thing about it. It was amazing. What's going on? It was episode 15, I believe. Oh, wait, no, 16. 16. It's episode episode 3 of part 2 of the Thousand Year Blood War. And I'm in my car right now. You know, different scenery and everything. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm going, I'm headed to work and stuff. So I got to try to make this a little bit quick or something. Because I have to talk about this episode, man. First of all... Like, seeing, seeing Shinji going in in this episode, you know, Kubo, you did him justice to a degree, man, because this is anime-only stuff. Anime-only in canon, seeing his Bankai and the music that came with his Bankai, that's his Bankai theme. It's like a traditional Japanese feel to it that also has like a heavy bass in it. Oh my gosh. And then the music, oh, the music was perfect, perfect for this episode. When, when Soyphone was about to be taken out, like, first of all, this, this arc with Omida, he really is showcased that, like, when it comes down to it, he will do his job and he will make sure that, that, that his captain is, is good and everything. You see him taking Soyphone from BG9 and then she gets her Zanpa, her Bankai back and the animation of it and everything, how it looked. Oh my gosh, superb. Taking BG9 out and then like, you know, uh, Hyorin Maru coming back to like, uh, to, to Hitsugaya, man. Oh, but then, like, that moment where you see, like, Rangiku on the floor, just, it's just heartbreaking to see, but, like, I'm not going to say anything else about it, but that was just the way that it was done with him, with uh, with Kangdu fighting uh, 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 Hitsugaya, and it's not work, it's not working, like, nothing's working about it and stuff, and then Kangdu was, is, like, gets frozen by Hitsugaya and, and Hyorin Maru, and him talking about, like, Sorry, there's like a train. There's like a train going by right above me. Um, cause I'm in Chicago right now. It's like railways and shit like that. But like, I have to talk about this shit. Like, it's so good. And then like the whole conversation with, uh, with Mayuri and Kisuke was so good. And like knowing what actually is the reason why that they like, you know, they're able to steal like, uh, the Quincy's are able to steal the Soul Reapers Bankais, but the resurrections of like the Iran car and stuff, those are an equivalent to what, like almost identical to what a Bankai is. So why aren't they st are stealing those and shit? And then that funny banter with Mayuri saying they're like, you infiltrated, uh, put a headpiece in my clothing. I am not going to tolerate this. I'm shutting you down. The communication shit, that shit is so funny to me. And just again, Mayuri with his, his outfit is fire. It is so it's so amazing. It's so good. And then, uh, oh, and then they were able to communicate with the lieutenants and the captains and stuff. And they were able to get their Bankai's back. And seeing, like, the little pill that, that Kisuke, like, created or that little, that little object, like, seeing it animated looked so cool. Like, just from, the, just from, like, you know, Hitsugaya just touching it. And then it just evap, it kind of, like, dissipates into, like, a black vapor or whatever. And then it's, like, a glowing, like, flame light looking thing. And then they start getting the Bankai's back, and then hearing like Hyorin Maru's like voice, and seeing that 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 beautiful silhouette of behind, like behind uh, Hitsugaya of Hyorin Maru, like the his his personified like that's what he looks like a giant ice dragon looks so it's so fire like it was so good and him getting him uh he's a guy having the hollified bankai like however his eye looks so badass and everything and then he 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 beats kang do like pretty damn easily which is which is the thing about uh like uh so like so the soul reapers fighting these quincy or like these sterner and stuff like the moment that they get their bankais back and shit Regardless if they have their Volstang thing and stuff, you realize that, like, the Quincy's, besides the upper echelon or, like, the elite of the Sternritter, 
besides them, like, no Stern Ritter can handle any other one. Like, like uh, any other Solar Reaper who has a Bond kind of stuff. And you clearly see it throughout the uh, this second invasion. And it's really great and stuff. And it seems like, obviously, Uok knew that this was probably going, could have happened and everything. And then you see Bambi coming in, like, walking around trying to find... Uh, like which which what pisses me off about Bambi is like talk, she's talking shit about Komamura, saying that he that that he's her dog and stuff, and calling him a dog and doggy and things like that, and like she's gonna get her get back, bro. Like I, like it was so cool to see like their bonkai's back, and then them and then the Sterner is saying like what makes you think like that that's gonna hinder us that you took your bonkai's back and stuff. Now we can use our full power of the standing and everything. And I'm gonna say right now, it don't really matter that much. So I'm really hyped and excited about that. I was, uh, bro, when, when, um, the whole moment with Kisuke and Mayuri, fantastic, such great stuff. Nemu, baby girl, on the side, just chilling. Great stuff. You got everything, you know, with Bambi and, like, the girls, say, quote, unquote, because there's um, an imposter among them. Um, but, like, seeing that was funny. Seeing the whole thing with Mayuri and Kisuke was funny. And then seeing, like, Mayuri, like, pretty much kind of, like, uh, you know, um, what's it called? Like, figuring out pretty much what Kisuke was talking about. That, like, for some reason, the, the Quincy and the Stern Riders aren't taking the, uh, the, um, Resurrections of, like, you know, which is the identical, like, qualification of a Bankai. What's up? But, yeah, it was, it... It, like hearing it, it's like there's only one or two things, hostility, which pro which isn't it because like characters or like hollows, they don't have like a will and ideology with them and stuff. Like uh, Eisen gave that to them, you know. But like in terms of hollows, they don't have like wills or or ideology, so there's no point in keeping that long of a grudge. Like with the Quincy's knowing, like keeping that long of a grudge with hollows. So there's only one possible reason that they're a complete disadvantage to Quincy's and their livelihood and stuff. And then Kisuke saying that like there's pretty, there's quite literally no antibodies in Quincy's that could combat like hollows and everything. That's why they completely eradicate them. That's why, you know, Kilge, like, you know, the jail, he looked so ugly when he absorbed uh, uh, Ion because he like was breaking apart pretty much. And couldn't fully handle that power. And so the only conclusion, their poison, the uh, hollows are poison to Quincy's. So then he made those pills, everybody get in there, get back, get all their bonkais and back and shit and like that. And like, oh, that, uh, the episode was so good. It was so beautifully animated and everything too, especially when like Kang Du tried to attack uh, like Hitsugaya and like he's saying like, he, like Hyoren Maru is not going to attack itself. Like he didn't even like, like, He's a guy that literally didn't do anything because Hyori Maru is not gonna try to attack himself. Like it doesn't make sense and stuff. And like it was it was so good. Like I loved it. I loved the whole thing with Soy Phone, looked amazing, everything was so fantastic. Okay, and, and sorry again, like I had to like record. I have to keep like stopping and stuff because you know people are like walking by trying to get to work. But anyways, now let's get back to the ending. What the fuck happened with the ending? That another and where are we? We're getting the Soul King's backstory within visions of Ichigo training in that realm. If you it like, it, this is anime only shit. Like you're seeing like the eyes of the Soul King in Ichigo's eyes. You're seeing that shit. Oh my gosh, that ending, bro. Like, and then seeing those quick flashbacks of what was, go of, of, anime onlys might not know exactly what that is and stuff, but you clearly saw at the end of all those visions, at the end of Ichigo's thing, Ichigo saying, what the hell is that? What am I seeing? Like, what's going on and shit? He's seeing, he's seeing visions of the past of the Soul King and I'm pretty certain the origins of the Soul Society and shit. And I'm like, are we getting the full-on flashback of the Soul King in Ichigo's training? Are we... Oh, my gosh. 
And the music and the sound effects, the dripping of like the water in that realm where Ichigo is and him being right next to the, him being right next to the shrine gate, but not there. And it feels so long. And Ichigo standing there starting to see those visions of the Soul King, what happened to him, what's what happened in the past and shit is nuts. I'm, I'm so fucking ready for that shit. I'm losing my mind. This is so good. I love it. Fantastic episode and stuff. Obviously, this is again, this is like a kind of like a short uh review or, or afterthoughts and stuff, but like yo, seeing Shinji's Bankai, the music that came with it, all everybody soy phone and 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 everybody who had Bankai's like you know coming that like them like preventing the Quincy's from getting him and or also getting the Bankai's back and everything like you know you see Asnod like seeing like the 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 medallion like like not breaking apart but it's like pfft, like like the Bankai's leaving it and stuff and then you got you know Mask the Masculine fighting off like Shuhei and Ikaku and and Yumi Chika together and see like that quick teamwork and stuff bro if we see Shuhei's Bankai because he actually has one Bro, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind next episode if that was if that's the case. Like that whole sequence is gonna be great, gonna be fun to watch. It's so good. And I'm 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 ready for it. But with that being said, fantastic episode. I'm ready for next episode. It's 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 the true clapback, even though like the Quincy's got their Vol standing back. It is it is the true clapback of the Soul Reapers. Like they're getting their just dues. They're coming back with a vengeance. And I'm ready to see Komamura fighting Bambi too. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be good. But again, like the video if you did. Like the video if you liked the episode and everything. Like the video if you liked anything I had to say. Subscribe or comment down below your thoughts uh, about what I said about the episode. Your thoughts about the episode in general. Um, and subscribe to the channel for more reviews, vlogs, unboxings, live reactions, and theory discussion videos and things like that. So gentlemen, stay classy, ladies, stay sassy. But most important, everybody, you gotta stay a little nasty, right? So peace and love. And I'll see y'all later in the next video. Peace out. May the force be with you always. Plus ultra bon kai lot tom like bon kai. Oh, I'm so ready for Ichigo coming back, man. Rukia and Renji and all that. It's going to be good. Next episode is going to be good. Everything's going to be good. Peace out, and I'll see you guys later with the next video. Review afterthoughts of the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc part two. It's going to be grand. Now, time to go back to work, guys. Time to go back to work. Peace out, and see you later. Oh, yeah, and I know it's got a little dark, but, like, yo, and, and, the, and the chorus in the music... With everything happened with Hitsugaya and Kang Du and that, like, bro, abs, like, with, with the act, with actual singing within the song, absolutely beautiful. Everything's being like hit out the park, man. Absolute home runs. This entire arc being anim animated so far, and as an an as a manga reader and everything, I am thoroughly thoroughly fucking happy about it.